Hey y'all, how are you guys doing today? Everybody playing a lot of um, Animal Crossing between washing hands and stressing about the economy? <laughs> well, this isn't my Animal Crossing video, even though um, it kind of looks like it is. Because in true Switch Cat fashion, I'm probably going to uh, wait to do my video until long after this game has gone out of fashion. Such as it is. But that's not because I want to, that's because I'm playing the game completely debt-free. Which means that as soon as I have to take out a loan from Tom Nook, I'm immediately paying it back with cash. Today's video is actually going to be about Dark Side Detective, but if you've been watching videos up to this point, you probably see that I've done a lot of uh, Legend of Zelda. If you've been watching, you see that I could have decided to finish the EX DLC and all three tiers of the Master Sword Trials, which unlock the full power of the Master Sword, so you know it's actually good now. But, uh, you know, in addition to that, I did the Champion's Ballad and got, okay, so spoiler alert here, if you don't want spoilers, um, watch something else, because, you know, I can't give myself props if I don't spoil it. <laughs> but anyway, spoilers, spoiler alert done, getting ready, here we go. The fifth Divine Beast actually turned out to be, you know, a motorcycle that's shaped like a horse, and uh, running around on a trials bike that uh, is powered by meat. <laughs> powered by meat. And then I found out later that it's not actually powered by meat, but it's powered by any kind of item. So I've been using firewood. Um, and I'm just hoping people forgive me for a massive defor deforestation of all of Hyrule. <clears throat> I guess with all that behind me, here's hoping that uh, Breath of the Wild 2 makes use of some of that save data because, man... That was a lot of work. Anyway, let's get on some of that Dirk C. Detective. Okay, man, we're back where uh, we left off. Fortunately, that was a good checkpoint because I didn't actually make efforts to save the game <laughs> when I last played it. So uh, we're looking for this little girl. Here she is, right here. So I guess that's case closed. That's a short episode. Hello, master. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yeah. God, I'm hungry. And the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Crash bang. Not so fast, detective. She got there. Where's Dooley? That idiot, I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Ha ha ha. For example, they're getting trapped in the Dark Side's version of their bedroom. That's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. Would've got away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling detectives. I got options, saying. What kind of cop will give up on a missing kid? So what's this, an inheritance scheme? If you even get rid of me, then what? Once Dooley wakes up, something blah, blah, blah. Do this one. Most of the TLPD? Sadly fair. I got more options. So what is this, an inheritance scheme? I hope I can be heard, man. I have to admit it's a fairly perfect crime. Especially since I'm able to make use of magic and uh, eldritch abominations, which usually throw people off. So if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid, despite getting lost in a dark parallel dimension. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Note my gun. It's a fair point. Once Dooley wakes up, you and your scheme will be done for. That's a good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him up to... Oh, okay. I'll... Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Officer Dooley. 
He's not very smart, but at least he's quiet this way. Alice, you got anything to say? I'm scared, mister. It'll all be okay. I have some words with you. I waste my time trying to sneak speech Spock to Bade Bailey. There's still something up here. I say it's a paint can. Maybe those paint buckets were heavy enough to knock someone out. There's gotta be something. Paint thinner. The paint thinner dissolves paint. Such as that paint where I just put on the door. If I put a little bit of this here, it's gonna destroy everything. Seal her away forever. Have a taste of your own medicine, lady. No! <laughs> Bye! Well, that's the end of that problem. Solvent. Nyah, nyah, nyah. Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Okay, mister. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side. But that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. I can't tell because, you know, low resolution graphics. Duly, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid. And steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from, anyway. That stuff's hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers a mess like this. Mad living. Case closed. Dun dun. That was quick. I guess I finished right at the end. You want to do another one? Why not? We have to have a nice video to accompany that amazing opener that I spent so much time editing this weekend. <laughs> Next! Case Summary Dooley suggested a visit to the library. He must have seen a strange storm gathering over it. Great. Start. All right, what's the case, Julie? Fill me in. Case? Uh, no, I've got some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vortex above the building has nothing to do with why we're here. Now, come on now, Detective. You're hardly going to arrest the weather. Things you'll try to do to justify this department. Hmm. Let's get this over with. Guess we'll go inside. Fines for being laid up. How are books late? It's not likely to have places to be. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Can't we come to some kind of arrangement? I'm a cop. Have me parking ticket? <laughs> That's corruption. Julie, are you trying to bri bribe your way out of a fine? Uh, no. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid? The one who's responsible for the storm and you. You know, the ghosts. Ghosts? What? Guess we'll have to check out some ghosts. In the meantime, arresting people for no reason is illegal as well. So here we got bribery and then we've got arrest without any kind of purpose or suspicion. Although the ghosts are interesting. I'm gonna read this sign, yeah? A silent sign. Shh! <laughs> Walked right into that one. Elevisor. Dooley. Aphis. Can I go somewhere else? Where's the kid? Where's that kid at? Lady, where's the kid at? I don't see no ghosts. And I ain't afraid of no ghosts. An old elevator. Where's the staircase? We have none. There was a fire, and ironically, the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. Well, I guess fire needed a place to escape to. I see. Horror appears to be out of order. <laughs> the button for the fourth floor is missing. Tetraphobia. Tetraphobia? 
fear of the number four. It's quite common for buildings in China to be missing the fourth floor. Speaking of fourth, the fourth wall. Been there, seen that. That is true. Strangely enough, they usually put like an F or even change the number so four isn't there. It has to do with the Chinese character. I'm getting off track. But the fourth floor is there. Just the button is missing. Oh yeah. And we're not in China. Although this game may have had some Chinese funding. You never know. I guess we're going to go to the place where it says sci-fi fantasy children if we're going to look for a child. Maybe. Somebody's playing with the demo. Dooley, you will speak now. What do the rabbi and the priest talk about in the library? I don't know. And I don't want this to be inappropriate because I don't want to have to edit it. I've done enough editing today, Dooley. Nothing. Library is a place of... Ugh. You need to work on your stand-up material, Dooley. Statue. Don't blink. Children's section. Is that an SCP reference, don't blink? You know what I'm talking about? I'm on the internet a lot. We got over here. Sci-fi and fantasy. Chessboard. What a great game, eh? Plays itself. Blah, blah, blah. Fantasy books. Glum Tales of the Sa Sad Venturer? Why would I be interested in that? Something on the floor. How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. Bracket. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger until I found out they had to go into space. Looks like some of the rocket's aluminum is coming off. That could be useful. Metal strip. Swords. If we lived in medieval times, we'd be living the adventures of ye dark side bailiff and his squire Dooley. Just try to keep your mouth shut, Dooley. Gosh. What else we got? We got lights flickering. Whatever next. Let's go check out the children's section. What about this one? The words are short and I could read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. Mr. Blank says nothing. Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read a book about books for my age range and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Hmm. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. Okay. Dinosaur. The dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Possibly by poltergeist. It's also causing this book to hover in the middle air. Well, that's not right. That's a neat trick. What magic book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic. It's Mr. Silent and Busy Man. It's nothing. Yeah, it's clearly nothing right there all the way around the book. Meanwhile, it's floating in midair. It doesn't bother anybody? I'm gonna look at these letters. A, B, C, as easy as four, five, six. I don't have any comment either. Robot. I hope I get to have a pet robot someday. Too many responsibilities. Feeding it, rubbering its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would you teach it that? I want to be on their good side when the inevitable happens. <laughs> it's a good plan, Dooley. Teddy. It looks familiar. Have I arrested you before? Anything else? Hey, it's a Viewmaster. <laughs> Called it. The Viewmaster? I loved those as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can find a use. Seems like these... It's times like these that I miss walking the beat. Got a vent up here, too. There's a cool draft coming from the vent. That can't be good for this kid's health. I don't know, it might be warm in the room or something. Let's have a conversation with... Wait, we got blocks. Anything here? Let's check out some books, yeah? Bad baby incites a riot. <laughs> okay. How about these? Why your parents don't love you? <laughs> okay. Little Devin, how you doing? Who are you talking to, kid? 
I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. We're not here to cancel you, kid. Although that seems to be really popular nowadays, we're just trying to figure out how you a caused this book to uh, defy gravity. I guess we'll be on our way, since obviously there's nothing wrong here. Later. Well then, I suppose we're gonna go up the floor. Reading room hobby. Well then, let's investigate. Professor Theodore Library, inventor of the library. Nope, not one of that. One word of that is true. Libraries are named after Charlotte Library. It's the patriarchy, keeping it down, rewriting history. You should know better, Dooley. Uh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anybody to be here. You know, on account of the purple storm and the color from outer space and whatnot. My name's Raxa. Or is that Raja? Or Raza? I can't tell. I'm here to study the strange goings on. I guess that's why you're here too, Detective. Sure, that's me. I'm always investigating stuff on purpose. Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. Well, let me know if you find anything. I oftentimes use the internet as well. It's full of very useful information. Clock. Time always seems to stand still in boring places like libraries, also casinos. Chalkboard. Who doesn't need chalk in the 21st century? Uh, most people. A fair point. But don't you just get nostalgic listening to the chalk scratch against the board? That horrible smell of that talcum that's going up your nose giving you cancer? Just like good old days. When I was at school, learning. Okay, I'll shut up. Microfilm room, let's go. I don't see no paranormal activity. This reader looks busted. Got it. If I want to look at my any microfilm, I'll need to find another way to do so. How about we use this newfangled computing device? Let's see what we can find online. Ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Jurassic Park, I love it. Looks like I need to figure out the password. You can always just go ask the librarian. Box of microfilm. It's radiating energy, like Raxer said. I think that may be a clue, possibly. There's just too much here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. No way, dude, this is an RPG. We got infinite pockets. Filing cabinet. Why would anyone have so many filings that they need a cabinet to store them in? That's gross. It's really gross, Dooley. Just when you think you know the limits. Come on, let's go. All right, miss, you keep by uh, the internet and I'll see you later. Let's go check out some hobbiness. Well then. Hobby books. Turning duct tape into pants. Make your nether sustainable. I remember a guy who used to make wallets out of duct tape. It was all right until he got wet. How to do DIY yourself. <laughs> I'm really good at DIY. I get my sister to do it for me. That's amazing. Got a lot of things on the table here. Glue. Somebody seems to have left some glue here. It's no duct tape, but it could be useful. Alright. I'm just gathering everything, man. I'm like a modern-day Les Stroud. Paintings. Wait a minute. These are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags in his deep pockets, rich enough that he can pay child artists for original works, this guy. Jeez. Now, they're printouts, Dooley. You dumb. Wait a minute. I already did this. I already did this. What about this little man? He looks like he's jumping. You jump too if somebody shoved a pole up your behind. Yeah, I noticed that. What else we got? Pots and brushes? Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. Because <laughs> it's all 2D. Alright, 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 alright. I'm just trying to investigate more. I got this, I got this. 
this. Let's return. <laughs> 